Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, hmm, why am I not hot? Well, it's because you've not been using Canva templates correctly. I'm going to show you how. <laughs> All right, so jokes apart, why am I doing this video? Well, it's because I saw two persons who are doing two different things. They shared a particular flyer on their status. And the moment I saw the first one, I said, this looks like a template. Then I came across the second person's flyer and I was like, mm -hmm. I said, it. this is actually a template. How do you avoid such things repeating itself? Well, I am Dyer Samuel, and this is Audacity to Lead, where I give you the courage and the necessary insights you need to lead your life and your business in the direction that matters the most to you. And as part of that, I'm going to be teaching you a principle I learned many years ago when I started designing. At this point, I have 20 years of design experience, and when I started, one of the things I learned when I was still a very junior person in design is the fact that good designers copy and great designers steal. How do great designers steal? And what's the difference between copying and stealing? Let me show you. All right, so let's just lay the basics here. So if you want to get started with template, if you want to use a template, of course, you can either go straight and create a design, or you can come down to all templates here and choose any template you want for the purpose of this tutorial i'm simply just going to be clicking instagram square i'm just going to be starting with an instagram square right there the first style i'm going to teach you is how to use a template as a base for your design now what does that mean it means if you look at any template right here you can literally select any template and you will be fine now i must give you a tip there are a couple of templates that actually look really really great in, on canva not every template looks interesting for example this template right here is not very fascinating this is also not fascinating but if you look up here these here are quite very graphical very very um, interesting to the eyes so how do you find such templates you can type something like match you'll find a lot of templates here now you can use that template as a base for your design for this let's just type product this is one here this is another one here this is another one here let's just say you want to do a product design and you fancy this here now what you simply do is you implement you add the elements you want to add and then you customize i'm going to scroll till i find the product so this is the product that i want to use and i'm going to crop crop the sides so that I have just the product and nothing else and I can delete this here and put this right here this is not needed because there's no need for a menu now looking at these colors here I want to now change the color to match the product itself you can come to photo colors right here and you'll be able to see colors to use so I can choose this brown okay uh, I can choose this green I can choose this green instead okay this green i'm looking for a color that will let the product really really pop from that background so this seem to be able to do that next thing you do is you change your text to a different text particularly to your brand text this is the brand text here and you can see this energy drink that's the text i'm trying to use here so again we'll need to make it capital letters in order for you to match that and instead of writing features we can delete this as well um natural okay this natural could instead of moisturizing let's change it to deep layer energizing <laughs> alcohol and paraben free let's say alcohol and sugar free that's what they used to sell products to you isn't it remember that we are building our design from a template that already exists so in order for you to do that what you simply do is customize every single thing you are not redesigning you are not starting the design from scratch all you are simply doing is you are customizing what is already available now with this here energize your life this color doesn't seem to match so let's change that color to a white good energize your life next thing i want to do is i want to add a shadow to this to raise it from that background so let's use a black as our shadow and then let's blur it so that it's silent on that background and then let's reduce the transparency so looking at the element we have on this design circle will be the best to add to this here so let's simply add a circle select this and send backward now looking at the font they use i did not use this kind of font so let's use a font similar to what they use this here open source and let's change everything and with that we have our tree then move this a little bit up and you have that so we started off our design with this this is the design we started with and this is what we have 
if you notice they still look similar but a lot of things have changed now with this nobody is going to directly say this is a template on canva well that's just method one method one is based off the design that you actually started with if you enjoyed this video give this video a like so that more persons can see it that is the only thing i'm going to be asking from you now let's jump back into the video and let's continue so for the second method what you want to do and of course i call it copying elements from a completely different template to your design now for this particular method what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a quote template to show you what i'm referring if you were to use this as a template for your design let's say i create a new page here and i choose this and i say okay this is the design this is the text this is the template that i want to use i want to copy elements from a different template to mine now what you would do is instead of searching for quotes even if you are designing for a quote what you can design for could be maybe you can search for adverts adverts bring let's say you like this here bring this copy elements from this template here copy it and bring it to this one here that way your design will not look like the original template it's very simple to do and it's very very easy you are not stressing yourself you are literally just doing something tiny and by the way you can do a lot of adjustments to your font you can do anything you want to do any adjustments you want to do maybe you want to adjust your font adjust your text adjust whatever thing you want to adjust you can do that so you have the courage to begin again and for this i'm going to write audacity to lead here this is not the red of audacity to lead so let me change it to the red of audacity to lead you can see it right here perhaps maybe you even want to be very dramatic let's say our background want to change our background to courage um so let's type mountain mountain top mountain sunset sunset so we type mountain we type sunset and you can see here you can change this to a white and if you want to you can actually add a rectangle behind this to kind of create silence for your text so you can add a rectangle behind that and base so for this we can add a rectangle the position send backward send backward then you reduce the transparency and with it right here you can see your design based off a template but what you have simply done is you've copied elements from a different template and moved it here this is as simple as it can get for the third way to use templates what i'm going to share with you here is what i call a mashup of multiple templates for this mashup method what you want to do is you want to look for a template from a completely different market completely different category to use for your template so let's say you are designing for a webinar a training program you can look for templates in maybe match football match um soccer sports or maybe even fitness and you can pick elements from those places and pick templates from those places and then match them together to create a mashup of your own design let me show you what i'm referring to so let's say you want to design a training program and you want to invite people to come for a training program now if you actually come here and search for training you will see that most of the templates will look like something you have seen before and a lot of times marketing templates especially training online webinars training they all usually look very unfriendly very not very interesting so to say if you say this is this here now if you instead of doing that what if you can look into a place like match and you find all of these fancy templates here now what you can do is let's say you like these templates here even though it's paid remember that even if it is paid you can actually copy elements or templates and match them together so if you look at this and you look at this design you can see that this training design and this match design this match design looks more fanciful more professional compared to this training design now in order to create a mashup what you want to do is you want to look for multiple elements from different places so this is another one and this is another one and you want to say okay and another one and let's say and another one what you want to do is quickly study this and say okay 
in this time, in this short time that I have to quickly create this design, how can I utilize some of the elements that I'm seeing in this design? In fact, if you look at this design, this match day design, if you compare it with that of that training program, you'll see that it's a lot more fancy food compared to that training program. But then, since we are designing for a training program, let's say this is the guy, this is the speaker, this is the name of the trainer, and what we want to do is create our own design from there. What you can do is select the elements that you don't want. This is not useful. This may be useful. So what I want to do is, first of all, let me move this image of this guy. Let's say this is the person. You have removed the background of the person. Let's say this is the person I want to use for my flyer. So this is this guy here. Let's say Adamu. I don't want to write Garba. <laughs> Shewu. This match day is covering the face of the speaker, so you can reduce it. You can take this out of this place and you can move this a little bit so that it's... Now, let's pick elements from different designs. This is where our mashup now begins. You can see this here. So what we want to do is we want to copy this. So I'm going to cut it from that page and then you want to move it to your actual design here. Then you come here. Let's change our text to how to be expert designer in 2023. If you notice, I'm just inserting elements of my own design. But if the font, if, for example, if you already have custom fonts that you use for your design, all you need to do is just come to your font, choose your font. The design is not looking very fancy for right now, right? Wait for it. 2,000 years later. And now let's change the title to how to be an expert. It's actually UX UI design in 2023. Okay, so at this point, if you would like me to teach or create a video or do a class on how to be an expert UX UI designer in 2023, leave a comment in the description going to see what I can do to that. All right. All right, so with that, at this point, we can move this down here. Flip this. Let's move it a little bit. Okay. So dates, I don't like the way this date is written. So let's look at those spots and let's look at how their dates are written. This is not looking interesting. So let me go back to my template. Let's look at our match again and let's copy one of the templates for the date. So this date looks interesting. The way this date is written it looks a lot more interesting compared to how that is written. And I'm going to paste. And now we have a date and a time. So where do we register? Let's select this, cut this from that page and bring it down here. So how do you register? And if you say, oh, this background is too heavy, I don't want it. You can come to transparency and drop it. But I'm not going to drop it. I'm just going to say this is how to use templates on Canva in a way that you'll find it a lot fanciful. So once you're done designing all of that, delete all the templates that you copied from, delete all of them delete you can see now this is our, our final design and now we can begin to change all this design all these colors here to match so again text change and font change so change all can you please change everything to red let's change it as well to us word and you can see now we have complete branded design based off a combination of templates okay now that i've shown you how to do this in canva can i please wear my glasses back so that can be hot. Of course, if you use Canva templates this way, you too, you will be hot. And perhaps you might get a lot of comments from <laughs> people who fancy you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to be serious, I'm going to see you in another video that you can see right over on my screen here. So click on this video and you'll get more of me. All right.